that's we thing Born model material that hated how silly yo Could grow to be a hot silly ho really though It's a shame for this damn thing Cause everything's brand name But when she get enough of these damn games Trotting with a unbuttoned blouse like it ain't nothing Dragging a wagon knowing fellas be flagging and fronting Hoping by keeping her gear wearing hair dope And so really big willy nigga a digger and yeah And we are here And uh, we're gonna be doing this thing every Thursday I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, dabbing in the basement uh, Yes Trailer It was dope Shout out to Yoshi Right Yoshi Cool people Yep And uh, Chief Master mm -hmm. Yeah shout out to him And shout out to Scrap Scrap Iron What's up Mio uh, to And tonight We're, ta we're gonna talk about uh, Safe niggas <laughs> And also Since it's spring break We gotta talk about uh, ratchet break, R ratchet break, <laughs> and ratchet break. and how would spring break be in twenty twenty five? What they gonna be doing? I, don't know. And I, I wanna talk about that especially because you seen that video I posted of <laughs> uh, the girl climbing the pole yes. and then she hit that she doof. fucking dumbass. But uh, yeah, so you guys can follow us on Instagram and all that stuff. Yes, ish talk underscore TV. Most entertaining show in the DMV. Yes, and we rhyme for a reason. Mm. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, how was your week? Week's all right, man. You know what I'm saying? It's spring, finally. That means, uh, you know, the sundress season is almost among us, upon us. My fellas out there can't wait to hear clapping. And I ain't talking about hands. You ain't talking about applauding. I ain't, oh, I'm talking about applauding, but just on the other end. <laughs> Let it begin. <laughs> hey, I can't. I fucking wait. But yes, I'm all right though, man. I feel like I gotta, I gotta slim down, but I've been drinking a lot of uh, soda lately. That's what I just been saying. Ah, fuck it. Ah. You, you, know, you know how you feel bad when you about to drink something or eat something. You know it's bad. That's for bad you. for you. Just like this pizza you got right yeah, here. Just like this pizza. Nah, I, I've been drinking Mountain Dew. What the fuck? And then this this white guy at my job, he, he says, "Oh, black guys drink Mountain Dew." I'm like, but yeah. Uh, also, I real I just heard that this drinking fucking hot tea yeah. can can give you throat cancer. So I'm like, fuck, and. Uh, white bread can give you cancer. Everything gives I'm you like, cancer. Ah! Everything gives you cancer, man. What the, like fucking is gonna give you cancer? It already gives you the other disease. Oral or, oral sex can give you throat cancer. Oh my god! Either ask that the uh, oh. Zena's uh, uh, Douglas or some some uh, famous man, actor. Nah, he got throat that. cancer. Yeah, that's because Ka Catherine nah, that's Jones. Because Jones these, and, these, these hoes nowadays be letting niggas that drink sodas and Mountain Dews all day. <laughs> Nut battery acid down their throat. That's what that is. What the hell are you talking about? That's why. What the fuck? I would have throat cancer too if you let the like. You can't fuck a nigga that all he do is uh eat pizzas and uh, drink forties and smoke bloods and, and, blood and have now laters and shit. They went, went, drink some water. To them niggas, ugh. Like I know their blood is thick. Ugh. Yeah. Like I feel bad when my pee is like orange yellow. That, and it, it smells really. When you can smell it, that's bad. Like in a bad way. Not like asparagus. You healthy? Yeah. No. I need my shit clear. When it's clear, that means my health is good. I feel good. If, yeah. If it's unclear, that means the end is near. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like you change something up. I mean, this is some bullshit. Like, ugh. Like that's why people get throat cancer. Like. <laughs> Ladies, fuck with a man that drinks a lot of water and eats fruit. It's okay to have a couple pieces, you know, maybe twice a week or three times, you know. I would say if you're going over three times a week, eat like shit, and like all day. I'm not talking like you eat healthy in the morning, maybe uh, you slow down a little bit in the afternoon. I'm talking about niggas that like get up in the morning, all they do is drink orange juice and they have a big, gulp. big, big gulp and fucking burrito, bacon, egg sandwiches all day. <laughs> And then, uh, and, ew, it's just like, come on, ladies. Know your worth and know your health. Shit. Know your health, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially, especially know your health when that girl hit that floor off that, uh, the girl on the spring break shit. Mm -hmm. I just, when I seen that video, I'm just like, <laughs> what are we doing? I wasn't like that. No, it's like this, man. It's to the point now where we're at a generation where people are getting drunk off of a, off of perception rather than alcohol. That's the problem nowadays. Everybody wants to do shit for the cameras. Like in the beach when people are fighting and shit. All it is so somebody can take uh, a picture. The girl when they you saw the one with the girl getting punched. Yeah. The black by the girl dude. getting punched by the dude. Yeah, I mean it was 
it was uncalled for, but at the same time, ladies, if you want to talk about equal rights, you're going to have the equal opportunity to get fucked up in the face. You can't be walking around putting your hands on people. So it's just, I don't, I, I fear for the youth. Like, I don't know what the hell we're going to be, do- these kids are doing out here. You're supposed to go to Miami to have a good time. You're supposed to go somewhere warm if you're, if you live in an area cold to have a good fucking time. Have a have a good time, like you know. What is a good time, people nowadays, to be seen, to, to yeah, look, to look go, good? Yeah, go go on the fire fest. Yeah, well, and the, well, just you just, go, just go why are you all going these places to, just to be seen? Why are you going like there for fucking the worst attention known to man? It's like this: you're going to be seen and start shit. Everybody now is that nigga that's that's the uh, fight starter now. Remember back in our day, it was like one or two, and you knew how to get them out. Now everybody's Don't doing it. Don't mind him. Everybody, everybody's, now yeah. everybody's doing everybody it. Everybody doing that shit. It's, these fucking young kids need to stop. And look, in Miami, they're, they're, they're cracking down on, on school As records. they should. As they should. Because if you little bastards don't know how to have fun, it's a, it's, honestly, it's a privilege to have a good time on somebody else's Spring expense. break, yeah. On someone else's expense. Because a lot of times, these, niggas, these little bastards are not working. You're, li- you're living off your parents' money or whatever. Or you just got into Harvard and you just want to party, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That that's my point. You know, I I have a bad. That's just I never. We were, you know, when we used to go on breaks and shit, we had fun. Like, but we never went we to never, Miami yeah, though. We, we never went to Miami. We didn't have to. We went to the beach though. We went to oh, we went to Virginia Beach, Boston City, close enough. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> close enough. Pollution but, the same. Yeah, pollution. The same. But the whole point was our point was to have a good time, but be safe and come back home, motherfucker. Mm. That was our thing. Like, yeah, we went out there to go get some ass here and there and try our luck. Of course, when you under 25 and under, getting ass is supposed to be a good thing for you. Yeah. That's then, what you're supposed to do. But now they having got, safe, but but now they got safe videos of some... I saw another girl in Miami giving... Get, she was driving the car and she gave a guy a head uh, like, at the stoplight. <laughs> the dude's outside the car. I mean, let's... Did you see that one? i never seen that one, but I'm, I'm not going to... Say that it's just this generation because they did shit like that when we were coming up too. We just didn't have the technology back then, but it but wasn't they, as yeah, wild. It's not as yeah, wild. They they had a uh, freak Nick, and then you know a uh, couple of videos. They always show up on Twitter. You know the little yeah. uh, stuff that happened in and uh, freak Nick. They showed the dude, the black dude, just running up to a girl, open up a girl cheeks. Yeah, yeah. Now don't get so, me wrong. Like some of that shit, like I said, girls. Yeah, they put their stuff. They the was air. with the shits back then, but it's still to a. At this point, it's ridiculous. Like back then, they were just doing that shit to have a good time, be freaky. Nowadays, people are doing it, like I said, just to be seen for the gram, and, and then you're self incriminating yourself. You know, it's just I, I don't under fucking stand these kids. It's like, what are y'all gonna do? What would happen if these kids like? If Instagram just automatically shut down, Facebook automatically shut down, Snapchat automatically shut down. Hell, these kids are it, so it, fucking. It did shut down for a day. Yeah, yeah, but that was. And I wonder if there were murders or, or suicide. <laughs> Probably or, or went up that day. But you want to know the funny thing is these kids are so fucking out of tune with life. I guarantee you, these kids would probably die from drinking water holes. <laughs> you know, remember that? Oh, yeah, That's picture, the, yeah. That built up your immune system, and that was fun. Nigga, remember them days when you used to go out and play, and then when you was real thirsty, you ain't going to the house. You just got the water hose and drank that shit. That was nectar. Hey, to keep it- <laughs> that was hood nectar, nigga. Hood nectar. You ain't, uh, you ain't never hear no kid dying from that nah, shit. Ain't no, nah, ain't no kid ain't die from that. In the project, that water was sweet. Especially <laughs> near a church. Mm, mm, mm. Why was it sweet next to a church? Because you know it was blessed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Extra lead in that? A- a- extra lead, man. Uh, all the collection, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So shit. They said they're gonna add in Miami more, more police. They should. They they really should. These kids, if these little bastards, uh, you know what I'm saying? These little bastards, if they're gonna behave that way, then they deserve. It's like I said, if you're gonna act like children, you should get treated like one. Your privileges should be revoked because. You fucking up. I'm surprised that they actually would make a step like that. And I know how much tourism, you know, in Cancun. Nah, nah. Here's the thing. It, that can fuck up tourism. Because remember, if, if uh, you gotta understand, if you, other people don't want to come back for that because of that shit, you can actually lose money. So I applaud Miami for saying, we're not about to have this fuck shit. We got to make our money because in Miami, tourism, that's what it's about. 
You want to bring exactly. people there to have a good time and to come back and say, I like to having a good time. I can go out here. I can do my blow in peace. They must I can be- get some cheeks in peace. I can do all this shit in peace. But if I got to worry about this stupid ass, dumb ass hood person or fake ass hood person trying to do shit. I don't have time for that. But imagine it'd be more homeless. Like it'd be more kids like hanging around at night and shit. Nah, so especially Miami and uh, no. was it in around here uh, Virginia Beach, like it. I, I it it's, it's not what it used to be. Like, it's not what it used to be. But spring break was literally to take a break from a lot of hard work and shit, and you were stressed out or you just wanted to have a good time. Nowadays, it's like you kids don't even do shit. Y'all get kicked out the first the first year. Man, I was I was never really into that. Middle school, my finest thought of middle school uh, uh, spring break was remember we spent like a day or two days at the park, chilling. With, yeah, we had the girls there or something like that. <laughs> or try, that day? try to mac, mac the girls. Yes, that's all I needed. That's I don't have to go to Cancun, but you, I understand. Like you, you like to go. I like to, to go places. I like, you like to, to go to Greece. And you I like, like to, yeah, for, I want to go. Spring break. That's what I like to do. Shit, they know. There's nothing wrong with traveling and ambitions. Niggas got to stop thinking that. Hey, it's nothing it's, wrong. It's, it's it's wrong when hey, you are traveling is learning. Yes, but when you exceed the budgets, that's when you got to stop. Because I've exceeded my budget plenty of times. I finally have my own place, but the way I was. Up, I probably could have had my play three years ago. <laughs> but but why were you doing it, man? I want first of all, I did want to get away from here. But second, you know, I, you know, I had I had moments where I wanted to have fun. But then I also had, I had my kept the Joneses. Everybody have a keep the Joneses up one no, time. No, no, that's how people get. That's how people. That, yeah, get, keyword, keyword. But I get I, depressed. I, that's how people get left behind. That's not, how people get in debt. Yeah, they do. I got. But shit, I'm already in debt. I mean, I went to uh, I went to college, man. You won't be in debt. You might as well enjoy your life. You ain't gonna never pay that shit off. I got low. I got low uh, debt. Good. That's good. That's why sometimes going to colleges. Let's drop a gem for you. Going to college, you do it to have a good time. Of course. I mean, you do it to get an education. But if you feel like you can do better skills and something else, do it. It's not all what it's cracked up to be. If you go there for the wrong reasons, I'm telling you that right now from personal experience. Go there if you're really trying to learn something. And master your your degree. Try to take that shit as high as you can, especially in these times, in this in this day and era. A bachelor's don't mean shit hardly anymore. Hell, a master's is just getting you in the door. Uh-huh. Now they want your doctrine and all that, and you gotta do a lot of shit. It's all about uh, plugs and outlets. Absolutely. You, you, uh, you, you you have a degree, that's a plug, but there's mm-hmm. no fucking outlets. No fucking outlets. That's why we trying to do the entertainment thing. Mm. Cause it uh, make me feel better to know I could be thirty seven and make it. <laughs> I, 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 hey, Samuel didn't get his big start until his forties, so we still got time, but not too much time. I want to get something at least in the next year or two. Fuck it. Man. They say black women they have they, they're like the only particular group that have uh, they're big and uh, having degrees and they, they have the most degrees and stuff like that. And, yeah, I mean, but that that's but, so, they, but they they still be in, in debt. So I, yeah, I mean because. <sighs> Now, I do like the fact that we are finally, as a, as a culture, we're trying to invest in education. We need to. Now, we still need to. We still got ways to go, but we need to invest in education. But for certain, for not all sisters that are in school, but for some of the black women, get that degree to show that you've proven something to yourself and not to other people be, to think you're better. You're, no, because you can have a bunch of degrees and still be stupid as shit. <laughs> Like, no common sense. I know a b- bunch of people on the jobs that I used to work with that got all these degrees. I'm like, you got no common sense. You don't know how to, uh, exactly. you don't know how to do this. And you don't know how to handle this and talk to people. Yeah. So yeah. just go, like I said, your education, expand your knowledge, not just to show people on paper, but just to show yourself. Make make sure that you know that you're going there for the right reasons. That's right. all I'm saying. And uh, I'm, we're going to keep it, we're going to transition a little bit, but yeah. you want to talk about black girls in college? The, the rapper now, she's a rapper, Megan uh, the Stallion. The Stallion. Yeah. I want to play, I want to see one of her videos, and uh, we're going to take a break. Hey, running up and being trying to fall like till I fall. In the Gucci stove, finna tear that yeah. bitch down. Money yeah. on my phone, yeah, like, like collect it. calls. Pussy like a drug, give me heaven, whip drop. Boom. Hoes love the try cause they think that I won't. Bitch, I will run through your shit like a cone. Bitch, I'm in mad and get what I want. I'm looking for somebody to take it out on. You. So she already, they already said she got a, a beef with Cardi B. Even Cardi B had to say something about, uh, ain't nobody going to take my spot. Whatever. You think she's, uh, you know, she, 
She, I think she's something different. She's tall. She confident. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And I haven't, and she, I haven't seen really someone with aggressive lyrics like that. Nah, and confidence I, since like Eve. Eve, and uh, little, Kim, little Kim, but little Kim wasn't it ain't built like that. And you see the way she's built. I mean, she's stacked. Like, don't get me she's wrong. She's a stallion. Yeah, look, look, Amazon alone, looks alone. Yeah, I, I would love to. The, uh, I'm at, I would love to have her just ride me on her feet. Jesus, mm, like a stallion. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but nah, bar she she good. Like I like the aggression. I like the I like the tenacity in her flow. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just hope that she can keep the longevity that's going because she just can't do the freestyle and shit all the time. You know, like I want I want to see what can she do for me as an artist. I want to see if she could become an artist because we've heard a lot of females like got flows. Like remember Shauna? She could rap, but <laughs> I was never expecting her to make an album. Uh, and she just got signed to 300, Enta- 300 Entertainment. So you know that's Leor Cohen. Cohen. Mm-hmm. You know Leor. Kevin Lyle, so of course she's gonna blow up after this. Mm-hmm. So uh, mm-hmm. who else they got on there? Uh, Gunner. That you, you know that rapper. Yeah, Gunner? I know Gunner. Yeah, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Uh, I just wanna, I wanna hear something different. Like, I'm personally, y'all already. Know, I thought I'm you would be Cardi offended. I thought you would be offended. Like, I'm not offended. Yeah. I like, I like what she's doing. I mean, he, doing, are, are you comfortable with women nowadays talking shit? Like the same way the men, I don't the, mind. The male rappers talk, that, that talk is shit fine. about females. That is she fine. is talking about niggas. Like, hey, if you if if she bought that life, then by all means, like I feel like she's the type that's gonna hold, that's gonna back her shit up. You know what I'm saying? She's talking about pulling niggas, doing this, doing that. Nothing wrong with that. And she got a little accent. You know, she's 24, mm-hmm. Houston, mm-hmm. Yeah, Texas girl, Texas gal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. I I, mm, I like that thing. You know, she's thick, thick. So. If anything, I'm all for it. Like I said, please take Cardi's spot. Shit. I'd rather you be there than her. Damn. I need something like, I feel like, and then she's freestyling her own shit. I need to see Cardi do some shit like that. I think every I artist, really heard I think her. every artist, every rapper should be, have to do at least a one minute freestyle. Now, I know it's different. Well, no, they ain't that type of artist. I don't hear that shit. Fuck with your craft. You got to be a well rounded artist to me. Let's see. Let's see what this one is. Uh... Nine hundred twenty-two thousand views. Damn, she got more than all of our videos combined in our ears talk. We got to get our game up. Hey, right, we got to find a, a style or something. You know? mm-hmm. And I'm glad I didn't do that because we are you. We're streaming this on YouTube, y'all. Forgive us. Like, if y'all can see what I see. Like, Damn, I'm pretty good too. Some fashion over shit. Yeah, a bunch of I know my niggas was over there trying to get it, y'all, but I'm not even trying to be on that shit right now. I'm trying to get a ride home, and niggas trying, not trying to ride the goddamn bus. What? <laughs> they buzz, and that motherfucker already lives. God damn. So what's up? Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye. I think Cardi B got to do a No, with the her. thing that I like about Stallion is she can say shit like this because she like 5'10". <laughs> That's why she got that attitude. Like, when Nicki and Cardi B did that shit, I couldn't take them serious. I'd be like, yo, sit your little 
for a five foot. You saw that picture with her doing this, yeah. uh, and so uh, I don't know how Nikki. She ch- Nikki, hey, I don't know about Nikki. Like, Nikki, <laughs> Nikki, check that, her out. That, or maybe, that. or maybe she had, or maybe this is a perfect time for Nikki. She see them Cardi B guys say something, so maybe they, they got to do a feature or something together. Uh, uh, Nikki and Megan, please. Oh, but the clap back at her. The clap back. I don't know because you gotta think that she gotta protect her image because if Stallion do fuck with Nikki, then it's gonna look like she trying to be bitter too. And you know, well, like right now, Nikki is not. Nikki is is the kid with chicken pox. You gotta stay away from her. She is. She, 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 she gonna infect she, everybody. She, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she you fucking fuck up with like, her. You gonna get like, your, you, she you, got, you gonna yeah. get your show canceled. Exactly. People Nikki, ain't gonna Nikki show up to her show. Nikki is the person show. where you just like, like I said, that one sick kid that you like. Yo, just go home and get better. <laughs> <laughs> just sit down, drink some soup, have some uh, ginger ale, Robitussin. Just, just sit back. So now, nah, Stallion is actually doing her own thing, and I and I like it. Like you know, go ahead and do your thing. If you can pimp a nigga to do you, I like that she didn't flip the script on 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 the men. It's kind of cool. It's cool. Like she's looking at it like you know, it's so many times that females be running to niggas on, on yeah. cars. Now in this day and age, niggas is bamas like that and, and hoes. Anyway, so they, I can see niggas doing this, like c- looking at her like like a groupie. Like niggas are groupies nowadays. <laughs> That's what happens when there ain't no daddies around. <laughs> I just feel like it's, uh, she's she's gonna get more, uh, more sat- ratchet women behind her. I mean, she's she gonna get of- she gonna get all kind of women. Like it's one of those things where it it, it comes with the territory. It's gonna be pros and cons to all this shit. It's gonna be some women who think they can rock like a stallion, but can't deal with the consequences. And it's just it's going it might bring some confidence out in some women. Like I think a lot of especially tall women uh, were self conscious because of their height and size. You know, like back in the day, I guarantee I guarantee you like nobody's gonna fuck with women like that back then because she's tall, intimidated. You ever talk to a you, Fuck you like yeah. Tall I like tall t- man. Lick them long legs for for foreplay. Shit. I don't think they. I don't think tall yeah, chicks will, don't yeah. fuck with short dudes. What you talking about? They don't. What you talking about? They, they like. They want to have. A, a, a they they want to have a. Uh, no, a chick will fuck with any dude that talks that game and lay it down right. That's no, all you no, need to no, do. No. Yes, yes. Any chick will mess with a dude with money, and he he it doesn't that, matter. If it, he's it, short. All right, then there you go. But if you spit your game the right way, that's the problem with niggas nowadays. You can't set yourself short for that. <laughs> All pun intended. <laughs> like, you better go out there and and get it. Like I danced with this but tall girl I'm, in the I'm, club, and we was we was vibing. And, you, and, you, and your face was on, on her uh, pelvic. No, her, my face her was on, her, on her, bro- her boobs, nigga. Her boobs, her boobs, nigga. And she was with it. We were having a good time. I ain't saying you I didn't big, hit. You, I didn't hit it. You had a big buffer. Nah, she was just tall, and she was a stallion. She was taller than a stallion. She was like at least six three. Put that on everything. You ask my uncle about it. Like, and I'm not calling her out or nothing like that. We had a good time. I didn't say I hit or nothing, but I shot my shot. I'm a, I'm a high volume. She was too tall for you. No, she wasn't. She was too tall I, I would have dated her. I don't give a fuck. I'm a high volume <laughs> shooter. Everybody shoots. Steph Curry is a high volume shooter. J.R. Smith, uh, Smith is. And them niggas got rings. Shit. But you ain't got that yet, sir. I don't get it. So It takes time. Short women don't, that's, don't fuck with short dudes. Sh- tall women don't fuck with tall, short Tall women don't You don't fuck know with. that. You don't know that. That's not always true. Okay. It's just the, the way society got that shit going. Can she beat you one-on-one on basketball half court? <laughs> She's still a woman, man. And it's not, nothing against her, but hell, you acting like that's the thing. We are still men at the end of the day, no matter what. You mean you just push me? Yeah, all I got to do is just put some flex a little <laughs> bit, put some Ike strength in there, and it's over. <laughs> what? All right, shout out, all right, shout out to Megan. Do your yeah, thing, girl. Shout out to Megan. Yes. Right, Do your look. thing on me. Shit. <laughs> yes, please. Like, throw that chocolate thick ass on me. Please. All right. So so let's get to the topic of the night. AJ, you, something that, that got your attention that you want to Safe niggas. Safe niggas. Safe niggas. Yeah, let's talk about safe niggas. Safe niggas are the funniest dudes out there known to man. Safe niggas are the type that really think they're winning when they finally get a girl. But they're actually losing, and they look like they're the lames. When you a safe nigga out here nowadays in this era for women, that's not a good thing, bro. A simp? Uh, it, and, it, and not and not even a simp. That's not even a simp anymore because a simp got a, another benefit. He's just a fool. He a klutz. A safe nigga knows that he's uh, he's not going anywhere with this, but he's still trying. And he will throw all his morals out the window to let a woman and bow down. That's what I'm saying. 
That's that nigga where it's like, yo, you know she wrong is the two left shoes, as the old heads would say about certain shit. But because you want to get in good with that ass, you just going to roll with her and agree with her anyway. Accept certain stuff. Accept and certain, certain shit. Stuff. And then, yeah. And then you would throw your, you throw your own homie under the did bus. So, did, did something happen? I you, mean, you know something that happened. I know a bunch of niggas that it happened to. You know, I'd be like, "Damn, dog, he really did that to you." He's like, "Yeah, fam, we was all like cool and everything, and now this nigga, he trying to holler at old girl." And then the funny thing about a safe nigga, they don't realize that they are just a decoy for the woman to get something else. Like you are the stepping stone chump. What if you STC stepping stone? No, SSC stepping stone chump. You a decoy? You don't want to be a sister. <laughs> You don't want that, cause you know when you a sister, that's what they think of you when they snatch the, when they smack their teeth. This nigga, like you know, it's like you that type of nigga nowadays. You don't want to be that, cause you are you are inferior. Cause the real ball, the real ball niggas that run in silence are gonna get take your girl from you. And the, and the funny thing is, safe niggas tell them themselves. How? Because their insecurities give them away. How? They show it. How? <laughs> they all. When you gotta brag about having a girl, that means she ain't yours. Mm, no, it, 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 no, he could be very proud. Being proud and flex, flexing, flexing and proud, and flexing proud and proud are two. The same false thing. flexing. No, false flexing. We have false flexes out there. Because if Shorty ain't with it, like if she has to take you to the side, like don't do that. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Or if she don't respond, I don't give a fuck what she that. Ain't comment, she hey, ain't comment. She ain't comment. Yeah. You you through, you through nigga. You it, through, you through. Safe niggas though, and another thing about them though is like, when you a safe nigga, the chick like you, but she don't respect you. That's one thing I always want my fellas to know out here. If a chick like you and she don't respect you, it's fucking dead. Because liking someone is a is what I call a temporary state. We we got respect for each other. We might not always like the way we carry things, but at the end of the day, it's still respect. When a chick don't respect you as a man, that means she don't take you serious. You are her ego boost. That means, like, you know what I'm saying? When someone don't respect you, they just, they just, they feel so, like they're better. So, like, women, like, they go to, like, they just disrespect the dude that they leave him at the house and the, when they, they say the well, girl's it, not going to Well, it ain't even like that. It's just a simple fact that if a chick got to claim you in private, that's never a good thing. It's, men do it? Yeah, no. Claiming and fucking are two different things, my nigga. A, a, a safe nigga is going to want to profess and claim it. A chick that, uh, yeah, a chick that don't, that like a safe nigga is like, hey, all right, keep it to yourself. They ain't going to do no PDAs. They going to be sitting across from each other from the fucking uh, functions and shit and, and trying to act like everything all cool. And you be like, and, uh, and if somebody bring up, hey, y'all together, they get all uncomfortable uh, uh, with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. get all, they be sitting there like. So safe niggas is like uh, two steps above. Uh, being in the friend, getting out of the friend friend zone. I mean, in a way, or is that fr- friend zone probation or friend zone? I don't even uh, know what you. What, I, what, I, what, I would what, call that shit. Uh, what's the name of those work release program? <laughs> <laughs> you want a work release program? <laughs> These niggas out here, Jake Shuttles working with hoes. Damn, that's what they doing. These niggas are a work release program, and, and it's <laughs> it's a motherfucking it's a fucking. Time limit to that shit. There's an expiration date on that shit. Because usually when you safe, it's mm. not going to work. Mm. Because like I said, she don't respect you. Mm. She's just sitting there waiting like feet And the only reason they don't go out to the other niggas because they scared most likely and insecure that the other the good nigga is going to make them be good about themselves. See, a safe nigga, he just going to do whatever she do. Put her on a pedestal. Be like, hey, what you doing? You know, blah, blah, blah. Woo, 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 I like I you. made dinner. Uh huh. But then try to go behind their back and talk to their boys like, yeah, man, she want me to do this. I ain't trying to do that shit, bro. And you be sitting back like, nigga, please get the fuck out my face before I go over there and be like, hey, he ain't want to do it. But I got you. Fuck that. Like, Is that. What? That's some real nigga shit. Like. A real man is okay to say, I'm going to do this with my girl. You know, I'm taking her out to do this. We're going to do that. Boom, boom, boom. Ain't no, oh, wife, we got me doing this. Like, nigga, sit down. So, Especially, it, it, it sounds like safe niggas are always ugly dudes. Yeah. Or, or a, a, I, I, a, out of shape. Yeah, or sloppy. Sl- slouches. Yeah, Slouch. slouches. And, th- and them be the main ones that go and try to attack another nigga. They love to see another nigga fall. Like, if he falls, it's, oh, nigga, you can't hit, you can't pull. And you be sitting back like, oh, all right. I can't pull, but you had to wait. I feel like the only, uh, if, if you're a, a big fat dude 
and you got a good job and some money, you got a chance. Well, if you got money, you can have a fucking half a face and you got a chance. (laughs) That's that's just the way we live. Harvey Dent getting pussy. Yeah, Harvey Dent is getting all the ass. So, yes, it don't matter. Did you see that nigga in Batman Forever? That nigga had two bitches. (laughs) He had Drew Barrymore and he had some other Italian chick from a Spike Lee joint. He winning. Shit, when you got money, you are winning. I want to have that kind of money so I can get Rihanna or somebody like that. And I would get. I don't give a shit. Somebody say, "Hey, you only got the. It's you only got it because you got the money." I I still got her. (laughs) And then I no. I think you got to have Saudi Arabian money to get some uh, 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 Rihanna. uh, Rihanna. That's what I'm saying. I want some Saudi Arabian money. That's that's oil money, bro. That's oil money. Oh yeah, no, that's that's blood money. (laughs) That's blood money. So safe niggas, and also I feel like those are the ones that. If a breakup is breakup happened or some uh, up and downs, like they they'd be the first one to post it on social media, like or they put some in, in, innuendos or nice like this or I forgot or uh, what else they say, uh, you know those niggas that be mm-hmm. I can't say the person, but uh, whenever something happens, they always leave like a little message. Like, yeah, every, <laughs> or, 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 or put up a meme or something. Yeah, they always do some bama shit. It's like. First of all, if you have to go to social media all the time to 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 shoot like to throw some shade, yeah, you just lame. Like, I, have I done it? Absolutely, fucking lutely. But I do it to the point where I'm trolling. Them niggas, you know, they are really hurt. Something is on their mind. Like I said, now have I had some moments where I've shot throw some shit out because I was in my feelings? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I never, I never doubt that. I always admit that. But I ain't to the point where a nigga is Tyrese Gibbons in this shit. <laughs> Where you gonna see me literally crying on this screen, I, I just want my baby back. Yeah, I will literally throw some shots at your ass, and then I'll just go dark. No, <laughs> and fuck no, your head up. I, I've seen you post stuff like on Snap or something. That's my point. And, and then you'd be like, and then and then I'm done. If, if you if you just if you wasn't if you gonna fake, just fake or just keep it real. If you're going to fake, just keep it yeah, real. That, yeah, I never did nothing like that. You sure? I'm positive. I throw some darts, like I said. You throw some I, darts? I throw some jabs, and then when the fight's over, I leave. I go, all right, I'm done. I'm no, done. You stay, no, you stay mm-hmm. until you get a... Mm-hmm. You, you want your, your side to be so... Nah, <laughs> I, not, not when I shoot shots, because I know who I'm shooting it for. And once I see that they already paid attention, my time is done. I, I leave, because now I got you thinking. All right. Because you know what? Here's the thing. When you shoot your shots at your enemies, you know the best... The best way to hurt them is if they see it. But if they don't see it, that's what fuck you up even more. So I already know once they paid attention, I already that's when you leave. That's the problem with motherfucking people nowadays. It's like they go overboard with the shit. It's like, nah, you said you're, you're spurred. They know what it is. Leave. Then you have them come to you. You draw them out and then you retreat to make them come to you on your terms. No, that that never works in there. It works. It works a lot more but, than what people think. You just got to be patient. But, but safe niggas, you said they're on work release. They're on work release. But it never works out. It never works out because the thing is, you can't you can't be with someone that don't res- that you can't respect. They don't respect you. Yeah, yeah. Or you, and, and even attracted to a safe nigga. Keyword. Say, we, did you see anywhere when it said a safe nigga is the attractive one? He's usually a, someone of a sh- a former shadow of his past. <laughs> It's like, yeah, nigga, you was good back in the day, but like, like, nigga, that was that was twenty years ago. I thought, I thought dead ass, like, you ever seen them niggas that talk about how much they was the shit back in the day? And you was like, all right, nigga, that was around the time when Black and Fifty were beefing. Give it up. That was when the first beef came out. That was oh three, dog. What you doing now? Right. Like niggas be like, yeah, I had this and back in the day. That's cool, dog. I had if this it's shot. over, if it's over three albums ago from an artist, over time, that's I used sad. To have, I used to have this big radio station. Yeah, now was, yeah I was yeah. doing I used this. To have all the artists, nigga. Yeah. This this is when King came out. Ti King came out. That was old, bro. What you doing? Fife is dead. Yeah, like so. Yeah, the, the, the same niggas that are always the ones that are former shadows of themselves. It's like dog. Like that's why I tell you a simple. I can give a simp some props because he typically have a shit. A simp is someone typically who has his shit together, at least. Like, he got his shit together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to use this as an example about the Russell Wilsons. Yes, it's funny. They're easy. But Russell Wilson is a a Super Bowl champion quarterback with money. And he's chilling. And, you know. And he's a Christian boy. And and a Christian boy. But at the same time, he's doing his thing. So at the same time, simps out there got their shit together. It's just... Stupid ass silly women who wants to fuck around with the the perception niggas to have their whole fun and then 
want a simp nigga to fix it. That's where I have a problem at with the simps. But with the safe niggas, it's just like, dog, you're a joke. You're not getting nothing behind this but a, a, attention. That's it. Nah, like, she's not nah, even claiming. some sex, too? Not necessarily. If you're not, like I said, some of the safe, a lot of safe niggas, they just wit. A kiss is not sex. Because remember, they're be operating out the on their own terms. That because be an, the that safe be nigga, the, no, the safe nigga that is going. The safe nigga is gonna try. He's not gonna try to fuck it up because he's going to play his part and be like, you know what? If you want to wait, I can wait. <laughs> I can wait. <laughs> and and why he thinking he waiting? Years why he later. why he thinking he waiting because he's being a good dude? She waiting for an entire other reason. Like I'm, I'm waiting for this nigga to look attractive to me. I'm waiting for this nigga to drop them ninety nine pounds. I'm waiting for this nigga to get a job. I'm waiting for this nigga to do this. I'm waiting for this nigga to do that. I'm waiting for him to be something that I want. Can't do it. And that's when they they get they should go. All right, I can't do this shit. Mm. <laughs> so yes, you don't want to be a safe nigga. Please don't be that type. You know, that's my thing of a safe nigga. Someone that they know is a lock-in for sure and knowing, okay, he ain't going to cheat on me or he ain't going to go nowhere. No, you want her to know you got options or you just want anybody to know you're going to be fine with or without them. That's how you got to be, especially in the arts of of women in this this era. You have to show them through your actions, I will be fine with or without you. Stop going for people that you don't, that don't want you. Get with somebody that actually want to be with your ass. And I ain't saying settle you for just ugly. Said, oh, you're shy. Yeah, yeah, no, shoot, you, yeah, shoot, shoot your, your shot. shot but sometimes you got to retire that and shoot at another goal. If you ain't hitting that one end of the court, go to the other end of the other court and see what happens. <laughs> and if that don't work, take your ass to another court. Take your ass to another uh, uh, rec, rec center. <laughs> Shit. If Carver ain't hitting... Go to go to Drew. If Drew ain't hitting, go to, uh, go, to TJ. go to TJ. If yeah. TJ ain't hitting, go to motherfucking uh, what's that place uh, right there off uh, the fucking Barcroft. Barcroft. <laughs> go to Barcroft. <laughs> Look, th- you gotta understand. There are so many gyms out there, fellas, yeah. to shoot your shot in, and you never know. If you go to the right gym, you might be able to get a bunch of buckets and drop a couple buckets in there. Guys, let us know. Damn. Hit us. Hit us in the inbox section. Or comment section of uh, the last time, or if you, if this shit makes sense to you, all right? It do make sense. It makes perfect sense. If you safe got niggas, are you a safe uh, a safe nigga? If you a sick, don't be if a sick. Don't be that. No, that's a stepping <laughs> stone nigga. That? That's a that's a don't be a stepping stone nigga. That's the sinner. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a step. Don't be a sinner. Don't do that. Okay. Stepping stone nigga. Don't be a stepping stone nigga. All right. So, AJ, uh, you know how we're supposed to go to Broccoli City, right? Yes. I can't fucking wait. Broccoli. Actually, can you show the... Uh, let's, see who's co- let's see who's coming. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. So, we're going to go Broccoli <laughs> City. Uh, it's going to be my first uh, festival. I'm going to do some... Uh, I'm going to get some shrooms. And I'm going to... Enjoy my time. It's my fir- my wife's coming. She's gonna be. It's gonna be her first time. Uh, Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino's gonna be there. Enough said. Lil Wayne gonna Lil be Wayne there. Gonna be there. Uh, hold the fuck up. Let's see the lineup. Like, let me see the lineup. I can't see the lineup. But you you got your tickets. Mike Mike got his tickets. Yeah, we all got our tickets. But I'm I'm trying to tell you, man. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. All right, let's see. Everybody else in the. Oh my God, Ellen Mays. Thick hey, ass is gonna whoop. be there. Tiana Taylor's gonna her be accent. there. accent. Uh, City girls. City girl. Oh shit. Um. Wiz kid. Gunna. How do you how do you pronounce this dude? Six lack. Yeah. Black is it black or six lack? Scotty Beam is gonna be there. Oh damn. Scotty Beam. Sir, is gonna sir, be can there. you help me pronounce this? It's six black man. Ella right. May, Tiana Taylor, Lil Baby, Wiz kid, Gunna, City Girls, YBN, Corday. Oh oh yeah. Damn. If I can get a picture with uh, Scotty Beam, I'm good. Then you got Trippy Red. Trippy Red. You got Coach K. You got Monique and Led. And more. Yeah, yeah. And it's in D.C. I, I don't know and what it's y'all in talking DC. about. Nigga, it is going to be a ridiculous. It's going to be, as New Yorkers say, it's going to be dumb, stupid, son. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody else in the group, they're going to go to something in the water. We already got our tickets for Broccoli Fest, but. The tickets for Broccoli Fest came out before something in the water. Can you, can you see what's who's going to be a uh, something in the water? Because they're they're going in there. They're going there. It's going to be all weekend, 
and they already got their tickets for Broccoli Fest. They're trying to oh, sell that shit. Bye. So do you want to go or do you want to? Oh, wait a minute. Travis Scott push a T. What the fuck? <laughs> Something's in the water. <laughs> Something's in the trap. Missy El- Elliott. Oh no, Missy, my baby's gonna be there. Oh, I love Missy. Scissor's gonna be. Damn. Pusha T, Travis Scott. Okay, that's it though. He's bringing out and, and, and Teddy Riley. It, Teddy Riley, my nigga. Mm. Dave Matthews Band, Migos. Oh my God! Wait a minute. Snoop Dogg, Gwen Stefani. Oh no. Oh. Wait, wait. Hey, maybe the twenty sixth, can... the twenty seventh, and the twenty. Okay, maybe I. Can... They're trying. They're trying to get a spot. They're trying to get a house there. Yo, Virginia Beach. This list is ridiculous. Damn. Well, the, nah. The, the people are, at the, the bottom. T- the people at the bottom. But look right there, Janae Aiko. Oh shit. Jaden Smith. He tried to give you some free water. <laughs> some, some clean water. Oh shit. Jana- and Janae single too. It's the same. Too. It's the same Janae week. Single, the too. same weekend. The same weekend. Oh, I can just we can go to both. You can't go to both. Why can't you go to both? That's 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 what you, we got to do some uh, holographic shit. We no, can't, we, can't, we got to do some time let's travel. Let's go bro. to both. We can't do if that. If we go to both, we lit. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. The, the tickets uh, for How something much? in the water is more expensive than the. Uh, is expensive. Is more more expensive more expensive than the. I don't give a uh, fuck, so. dog. Look at that lineup. Well, no, no, oh no, my no, god! No, look sir, at that ass. But, but but you said broccoli fest. Broccoli. I'm still going to broccoli fest. Don't get it twisted. Now that's still a good ass lineup. But this because the thing is about this one, we don't even know how long they're gonna be out there. Remember, it is Richmond. Don't nobody want to be in Richmond all fucking day. You were complaining about Richmond when I told you about it. I was, but I, now I mean, this is it could be some shootouts. Janelle Monae and all them push T. Damn, push it. What's you gonna be like? What's up, with my fucking Virginia people? I can't do anything. I'm it, like, it, imagine if he plays Virginia. Nah, nah. No, nah, imagine nah. if he plays a little adult Nick, dog. He got to do the ent- Yo, I would man. Oh shit! So and this you, gonna be so many. What you gonna do? Now, I'm Something going in to bro- the water. I'm going versus to broccoli, broccoli I'm, fest. I'm still going to broccoli fest because you know. It's DC. It's gonna be a shit ton of people. It's just it's going the the vibe itself is going to be ridiculous, and I can't wait. That's why I nigga stop drinking sodas and cut cut with me. Cut with me. You got a nice solid month. Cut with me. I got maybe you, go man. To the gym. I done lost. Maybe, maybe we, I have maybe lost. We go to the, maybe we can go to the gym this week. I have lost 13, 14 pounds already, man. Dog, I got you. And then you gonna have me ready before, uh, for broccoli fest? Yes, I will have. I'm gonna you show ready off my broccoli, my can, broccoli chest. I am. You can have the wifey rub on it. I'm gonna have a chick's uh, man rub on my bald head. If I can get other man all them to rub on, or, or Scotty Bean, her sexy ass. Mm-mm-mm. So you gonna sell your ticket? Hell no. The fuck no. Mm-hmm. I'd rather buy one. What you talking about? Uh, you lunching? Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, let I, me make sure I, I'm, I'm a, talking about the right Scotty Bean. I'm gonna go to broccoli. Yes, go to Broccoli Fest, I'm man. I'm going to go to Broccoli Fest because I already got my ticket. I don't feel like I can be like that person to be selling shit. Yeah, Scotty Beam. Yes, sir. Scotty Beam. Cutie Pat. Cutie Pat. Cutie Pat. Scotty Beam's cool. Scotty Beam. Macaroni. Macaroni. Yep. Scotty Beam is cool. I like Scotty Beam. She's cool. And she's so pretty. <laughs> but she cool. Mm. But yeah, man. Like, that, that shit's going to be like that. And it's going to be warm. I just want it to be warm. You know how I am. I, you, I, get, I start hitting streaks when it gets warm. After April and May and June, mm, 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 I cannot wait. And last year at Brock Professor, it, it rained out, so hopefully it doesn't rain. You know, April fucking showers. April showers and shit, yeah, dog. But either way, it's gonna be we gonna be lit in that joint. It's gonna be, and I don't even like saying I'm lit. It's gonna be like that. Fuck that. I'm gonna keep it. My Diddy, head. yeah. When Safani? I mean, yeah. Usher. Oh shit. I just, right. want, I just like the line up there. There's something in the water because Janae gonna be there. She's single now. I'll be like, hey. Mm. I'm a short nigga, but mm. I ain't gonna cheat. Mm. I, I'll be a safe mm. nigga. Mm. <laughs> I'll, be safe, I'll be the safe nigga. Just let me hit. That's all. <laughs> all right, it's Ish Talk TV. Uh, let's go to our uh, a shout out to Tina Wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has a. She's gonna be part of the Chicken Festival March 23rd in Baltimore. That's what's up at the Power Plant uh, Theater or wherever it was called. Uh, Mm-hmm. Make sure you get your tickets to that. We're gonna go support her. Shout out to shout out to Tina Wings. She was on the shout show. Shout out to Jay. Tina Wings and all and everybody who's been on there. 
you know, we appreciate you. Shout out to our Ish fans. We, we, we can't be anywhere without you. And we hope that you can spread the word, spread the Ish around. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get some fashion wear for y'all soon. So just, you know, and, and always inbox us and give us your ideas. And artists that need to be, you know, that need to come through with their albums and stuff, Holler at us. And speaking of albums, let's talk about uh, rappers that need out al- that need to come out with an album now. I my man is my man is Rick Ross. I need to get I need to hear one. I haven't heard since rather you to me. We need the Port of Miami Part Two, and that shit has to be. I think he, he said he to- was gonna come out with a Port of Miami Two. Uh, let me see, Rick Ross, Port of Miami. Like two. the thing he about said he it, he's gonna come out with this. When what was his last joint? Rather you than me, which was fucking was like that. What year was that? That was 2017. So you know, but in rap world, after eight months, we like, all right, that's kind of like every four months when you don't come out an album, that's a year. <laughs> we like, all right, look, every album is a baby, nine and, months. Yeah. So that to me, if he does that right, that will put him on the iconic status. Like he already an icon for real in the streets, but we talking like I'm not. I'll never put him in like I'm not gonna put him in the realms of a J and all that. I'm just saying though. Like, that will put him in a way where you're going to pay attention to Ross and you'd be like, oh, shit. Like, he didn't hit an upper, he didn't hit another notch. He didn't hit another notch. What came out after Rather You Than Me? Uh, that was Rather You Than Me. It had the beef with Birdman. That, That's Rather You Than Me. That was Rather You Than Me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. When that, that was hot. That was that hot. That shit was but ridiculous. Saying, trap, trap, on, trap, but, trap. Um, yeah. That didn't really help radio-wise. but Yeah, it did. And he then, wasn't really on the radio. But he, no, hasn't, he hasn't really done any features. Lately, no, but I, I, in so, my I opinion, so I understand that's why he. he I, but we I haven't th- really heard anything from him. I think he's just sitting back and watching shit and knowing what to do, like that, and then producing. And, and stuff. he had strokes. I mean, hey, he coming back from no, but this and is, he's getting skinny. Yeah, he about to, he looking like Greg Hart. I mean, James Harden, <laughs> but actually, he like that fucking uh, that black weatherman. In uh, New York, I forgot his name. That lost his weight, Stop. Uh, all that weight. And he, Stop. Actually, you like Al Sharp? Al, Al no, Sharp. No, he doesn't. He got a big head, little body. No, he doesn't. Man. Rick Ross, what's up, man? You hey. gotta eat some of that wing stop. Nah, nigga, fuck that. Keep doing your thing, dog. Just make us some fucking music. That's all I need. That's all I'm waiting on. Uh, I'm just. I don't hey. think he can come out with. He doesn't have anything behind him. What do you mean? If he, anything, I think he. I think this every is, time, every time Rick Ross he has a fire album, it's always some drama behind it. Not it has necessary. him getting shot up, shot at nah. in Miami. The other album had him beefing nah. with Fifty Cent. It's the thing about this one. He can. He, he can do. He nothing. can get in what a Jay Z rum is like. Like I'm saying, he could do that. Like remember, Jay will put out something where you be like, "Damn, he's like Ross can put out something now where he's like, I'm beyond that shit now. I got my money, I got my bread, I done survived all of this." He could talk about, "Hey, I survived the Fifty War and the Birdman and all that shit. I'm at a level now where I'm about to get my paper and I'm on a Dawn status." That's what I'm waiting Wasn't, to hear. Isn't that what Teflon Don was? No, Teflon Don was still when he was like still. You had to. He had to to bring that fire, which to me. That album hadn't have been for uh, Kanye West's "My Beautiful D- Twisted Dark Fantasy." Teflon Dawn would have been this, the album that I think everybody would have talked about in two thousand. Was that MC Hammer was on that? One? Yeah, MC Hammer, Ashton Martin, music, uh, fucking the inch. I'm not a star. Uh, Freemason, mm. uh, the, the Tears of Joy, Maybach music, uh, th- uh, three. Dog, that enti- you can listen to that entire album. That's that's a classic. Tough Long Dawn to me was his best work. Now, what's your what do you think Ross's best work to you was? Let me guess. Mastermind. Master Mastermind, uh Port of Miami, the first one. Of course. Yeah. I love prayer. I love uh, uh, yes, that was your song. The other one. Uh, you talking uh, about Blow. Yeah, Blow. Nigga, prayer. Pots and Pans was my shit on that joint. I ain't like that And one. bad. B for the bullets and niggas that gotta die. A for the axe and junkies getting high. I poke your ass in the nose with a fofo. If you're acting like a bitch, gotta go, gotta go. That nigga put up <laughs> Thanos on niggas. He Thanos niggas. He said, <laughs> that nigga basically said, if there's too many people in the world, gotta go, gotta go. Recently, I saw a video of him on, on Twitter, uh, like a, a vintage of him doing a song with Trina. Damn! Cool. If they if if she come out with a song and she kills that shit on the on his album, that'll be fire. That'll be like paying homage to MIA style. Yeah, they, they, they they mad at Trina. They said uh, she was on something. T- tell them tell them the radio station that um, she she was trying to get uh, Trick Daddy's husband to 
get a divorce. Well, heard, look, that's just, that? look I'm, I don't even try to worry about that shit. I just do this. In my mind, I'm like, yo. I, I would say the person that, the rapper that needs to come out with an album. Mm-hmm. You have Rick Ross. I got Ross. I man. would say Kendrick Lamar. He can sit for a while. He's he's I done so he's he's that nigga done had so many albums that's ahead of his time. It's more like it's like in our mind he already created like eight albums, so we ready. Nah, no, his last album came out last year. Damn, the last thing. Damn, Dan, Dan was last year. I think so. Dan was last year. Hold on, let me see. Uh, oh no, it was 2017. 2017. Right. It was 2017. But damn, is a it, like damn slapped so hard. You feel like that was just humble DNA love everything lust all so that humble. shit. Dog, he's fine. He's good. Dude, I he's don't good. know, bro, bro. I feel like he has to come out with some. No, he don't. Yeah, the speakers do he's something. He's good. He's good. I don't know if he's afraid that he has to go more militant or he has no. to go back to his regular no, he's life. Just, he's just chilling. Like you gotta understand. Sometimes when these artists don't do that. I like artists that take their time and not just throw shit out because to me that's a disrespect. If you how just, do you like trap, 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 Rick Ross and that sound like he just put shit on the wall? He no, just, he did some I regular put that shit. Money, no, and then the jungle. Well, go ahead. Him, what were you saying? No, nah, I just think like I like those artists because when they put out albums that I think that oh I'm me, you just gonna buy my shit. That's when I get disrespected. I go oh fuck that. I ain't about to buy that shit just because you came out with it. If it's trash and it ass, I'm gonna tell you and be like, hey man, you gotta do better than that. You gotta come harder on this fucking album. Like, what Ike saying, uh, what's love? You better put some stank on this shit. I got to feel it from way in here. From way in here. <laughs> they don't have that anymore. Albums, you don't feel it from in here. You don't feel it anymore like that. Well, actually, since it's going to be the political, I feel like uh, Kendrick is going to actually put something out. 2020 is going to be some pro-black shit. Nick, I won't be surprised if Kendrick is on uh, the fucking Boondocks that's coming out soon. Shout out to the Shout Boondocks. Shout out to the Boondocks. Boondocks. And Aaron McGruder is recording. He got so much material. I know damn well he ready. I just saw an interview with him last week, and it, it talked about, it was back like in 1997 when the the Boondocks, uh, Boondocks, the whole, the strip came he was like 25 when he when he started doing yeah, that Yeah, he shit. was, look, guys like that always got something to say about something, so shit. By all means. Did you see the one with uh, Uncle Ruckus and Charlemagne? On the Breakfast Club? Yeah, Yeah, that shit was funny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but there's a bunch of them out here. So, you know, we just... We just wait. I'm Ross. I'm waiting for your album, dog. I know you gonna. I know you gonna throw that fire out there. I'm just ready ready for you to take it to the next level. Don't let me down. All right. Y'all heard that. So, I believe that Kendrick Lamar needs to come out with more fire. I think it would be something... Much needed in 2019 than Rick Ross. Uh, I was just listening to Speed and Rick Rick, Rick, Rick Ross and yeah, R. Kelly. I'm like, damn, that was a good song. I'm speed. That was a good song. No, I'm not. I'm gonna keep listening to that song. I'm sorry. So yes, but we need that. And Ross is 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 elevated his game, which I can respect. I can All right. respect it. So you know. I want to talk about this uh this lady this mom in uh, Maryland and she's trying to get the school. To get a unisex bathroom, but uh, for our kids, you know, in high school, unisex bathrooms in high school. That's gonna be too much problems. But we gotta go. Uh, we have make sure you guys check out Dabbing in the Basement. It's gonna <laughs> yes. be on Saturdays. It's gonna be very fun and very different from our other ish talk shit. It's gonna be more towards uh, what was the first one we did? Five dollar. Bando Studios Mm -hmm. is going to be something like that. But uh, after saying that, I'm going to go smoke uh, some of this London pound cake. I'm your host, B More. AJ Turnup, Buff Curry. Find me at Instagram, A Turner underscore 813. You know me.